from the likes of Emmerdale and Corrie and now actor Heather Peace has turned up in Walford. Well, that was a clip from tomorrow night's episode and Heather joins me now. It is so lovely to see you. How are you? <laughs> I'm OK. How are you? I wish I was there. And then you don't get this funny little delay. I know, but, um, I know. Yeah, thanks so much for having me on. Oh, it's great to see you. Tell you what, what a great character to play. She takes no nonsense. She can really handle herself as well. And this marriage is a marriage of convenience, isn't it? Yeah, do you know what? It's more about... Um, the friendship between her and Stacey. So they've spent like um, six months in prison together and they're as tight as anything, but there's nothing romantic going on. Um, and I just found it quite an interesting thing to explore that relationship, the, the gay girl and, and the, her best mate who's straight. Um, and yeah, she marries her to essentially um, provide her with a, an address so that she um, can go on parole. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? This has actually come at a great time for you because the twins must be nearly ready to go to school yeah. and you can take on a, a sort of long-term commitment in the acting world and you, you can do that. It sort of works out, doesn't it? Um, Lorraine, it was absolutely perfect. So I, um, I left Waterloo Road to sort of embark on the, the journey um, with my wife to um, have a family and um, we've sort of done that now. We've got three girls and um, we've got Annie who's six and Jessie and Lola who are four and they've just gone to school in September and the job came through about two weeks before they went to school. So um, wow. yeah, I feel sort of ready to get back out there and um, yeah, it's, it's been absolutely perfect. The, the cast and crew here are just wonderful. It's an absolute joy to come to work. So, um, yeah, I feel, I feel like I'm ticking all the boxes right now. I shouldn't have said that out loud. No, you are. Good. You absolutely are. But what about Ellie, though? Because your wife, Ellie, loves EastEnders. Is it going to be weird, though, for her to be watching it when you're in it? <laughs> um, yeah, she's watched every single episode. Um, she hates me saying this, and I've said it on everything, so I'm <laughs> going to get in trouble again tonight. But... Um, yeah, it's, she, was, she was nervous when it went out uh, the other week and I'm back on again tonight, so she'll be nervous again tonight. But um, she, she won't let me tell her anything about the storylines, but she sometimes has to read in uh, with me when I'm practising my scripts, but it's all out of context, so... So it, it, won't, be, it won't be quite as bad. Sorry, I've got a cough. It's not, it's not COVID, it's not COVID. I did a test this morning, it's not, honestly. <clears throat> I remember, though, we saw you, of course... I remember you in London's Burning, which was fantastic. Lip service, where you were every girl's crush. Oh my goodness, you can't see this photograph, but you look about 12. It's from London's Burning. You look so young, it's gorgeous. But yeah, you still look yeah. young and beautiful, I have to say. You've been in all these soaps, right? Apart from oh, Hollyoaks. So we need to somehow do... You know how they did a crossover for all the, all the sort of COP26? All the soaps were doing crossovers. You need to yeah. do that. You need to just turn up in Hollyoaks. Just walk past and then you'll have ticked them is, all. Is, is Hollyoaks Liverpool? Is Holly, is, is it yeah. in Liverpool? Could I, yeah. could I have, like, family in yes. Liverpool? And yes. maybe, maybe pop up there. And then it would work. Yeah. I, and I think that could work really, really well. I think it would be great. Now, look, as well as acting, you're a very, very talented, as I know, singer-songwriter. Um, and you're going to be able to do more of that. You finally, you can, you know, working around your acting commitments, you will be able to go on tour next year. There'll be new music as well. Um, yeah, so I've got, I've got my 2020 tour is happening in April 2022. That's what's happening. Uh -huh. um, and I've just finished um, an EP, which is uh, super, super dancey. Um, but then I've, I've had someone come in and say that they want me to make it into an album. So that's going to take a little bit longer than anticipated. But um, I built a little studio on my top floor at home. And as everyone did with lockdown, just kind of got on with being creative and just, just trying to get through, you know, the last 18 months. Um, but it's actually been quite productive. It's it's gone all right, yeah. No, absolutely, of course it has. And, and like I've always said to people, you know, to musicians like yourself, um, music has meant such a lot to us over this time. It's really got us through um, a very, very tough time. I've been listening to a lot of sort of things that I remember from happier times, if you like, and, and from growing up in it. And it really has, it really has helped. Yeah, for sure. And I think, I think just that, um, I don't know what we would have done 10 years ago without the technology that we've had through this period. Because um, right at the beginning, you were just thinking, certainly as, as a musician, like 
the tour got cancelled, festivals got cancelled, what are you going to do? And I think we all just found our way through. I know it's not the same with the live streaming, but it is something yeah. and it is a connection and you can take questions from people who are tuning in on your Twitter or on your Facebook so that there feels like there's some sort of connection between you and the people who would normally be in the room with you. Um, so it was really special and, and we, did a, we did a Christmas online gig and I, I could employ my band and they all got tested and we were all together. We had like 36 countries tuning in. I mean, it was, it was unbelievable. There's probably people who watched those gigs who would never be able to come to a gig here in the UK. So I've just got to sort of look at all the positives that happened through that period. I think it's all you can do, really. Exactly, and you always do. And you'll be on tonight. Ellie will be watching, I will be watching. <laughs> To see what happens next. It's such a fascinating I'm very, story. I'm, Lorraine, I'm very, I'm very, very drunk. Yes. Uh -huh. In tonight's that must episode. Have been really, Not now. Really Not now. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> but it is difficult acting drunk, though. No. Because you, you have to get the balance, don't you? You don't, yeah. you don't want to go over the top. You don't want to not be enough. It's, it's, it's a difficult one. I shall, I shall watch that. That will be good. Heather, what a joy. Thank you. Next time, come in and see us. Um, when the tour is happening, the new album, all of that, come in and see it. me. It'd be lovely. That'd be great. Thank, Thank you so much, Lorraine. Thank you. Oh, that will be worth a watch tonight. It's set on tonight, five past eight, BBC One EastEnders. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.